Here we have an example of distributing where what we find in the parentheses is not multiples of the denominator. And so the best thing to do is look at the number of terms that you see in the equation and still use the concept of getting rid of the fraction. When I talk about terms, this really is considered one term here, a second term here, and then two by itself is a third term. And so the first step is to multiply by the common denominator. As I look at the two fractions, I have a common denominator of 35, and so that's what I'll distribute by. As I distribute by the 35, I'm only worried about changing these fractions. Once I change the leading term, that will then change those parentheses in a later step. And so, as I distribute here, 35 divided by 5 is 7. 7 times 3 is 21. I bring the 21 down. What's in parentheses is protected, so it's just rewritten. In a similar way, as I move to the second fraction, 35 divided by 7 is 5. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. This set of parentheses is brought down as those terms are protected. And then most kids will forget to distribute to this too. This is a third term, and so it has to be distributed. Remember, what you do on one side of the equation must be done to the other side. So 35 times 2 produces 70. In my next step, what I'll do is go ahead and distribute these leading terms. So 21 times 2y produces 42y. 21 times 1 is going to be plus 21. And then as I look at this, I have a negative 10 that I need to distribute across its set of parentheses. And so that creates negative 30y. And then a negative times a negative will produce a positive. So negative 10 times negative 5 is positive 50, equaling 70. We want to combine our like terms. So as we look at these y variables, we say 42 yak take away 30 yak is 12 yak. 21 plus 50, we're combining the constants, will be plus 71, equaling 70. With this equation, my goal in algebra is to get the variable by itself, so I definitely will move this 71. The coefficient right here is already positive. I'll write it as 12y equals 70, take away 71. The positive 71 goes to the other side as a negative 71. 70 take away 71 is negative 1, and so I have 12y equaling negative 1, and of course as the last step you divide both sides by 12, and we report y equals negative 1 12th.